just testing one, two in the building. So this is my mic. How you doing? <coughs> How's life for you? Life is good, man. Why is it good? Because I woke up today. Oh my, mate, that's a great answer, bro. That's some spiritual G shit right there. That's it. Just the fact that you're alive. Yeah, man. I think people that have an aim or they're excited about getting somewhere or being someone, they think whether they admit it or not, subconsciously they think it's going to be easier than it actually is. They think life is linear. Life isn't linear. I don't know how familiar you are with London Underground map. Right, you might be on one end, right? You might want to get somewhere. Your normal route is the central line. But the central line's closed today. It doesn't mean you can't get there. All right, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to connect over here. I'm going to connect over here. All right, those lines are closed. Cool, I'm going to try something else. All right, the underground's closed. Cool, I'm going to take a bus. Oh, there's no buses running. Okay, cool, I'm going to take a bike. Ah, oh, we're not allowed to drive bikes because Boris said some bullshit. Cool, I'm going to walk. There's always a fucking way to get there. It's whether or not you want to do it and whether or not you're willing to go through. And I think because I have done this non-stop, if I stopped, what am I going to do? I think... We are all happy when we're doing what we're supposed to be doing, when we find our purpose and when we do it. So whatever work I put out, I would like it to inspire people to move towards their own calling or their own purpose, or at least start trying to find it. Because I think true happiness will flourish once you are doing your life's work. I think everything else will fall into place, relationships, business, all the other stuff. But I think at the top of my value hierarchy is working at my purpose and living by it. And so like stuff like do you and all that stuff is rather than me preaching to say, guys, why don't you do your own thing? I act as a vessel speaking to these other people that are doing their own thing. I elicit their story, which I then hope the listeners can learn from. Well, I'm happy for it. I don't mind. And I love, I like the reaction. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, like, when people enjoy it, because it's good. That means you did it. You did it. That's all you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for people to enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, you don't judge this vision. Don't judge this because this isn't the vision. Yeah. Don't judge this because the vision is unfinished. When I've completed it to the vision I'm happy with, then by all means, you can see that shit. Yeah. But on the steps up, I, and I, I hate that as well. People go, ah, oh, let me have a listen or let me have a look at the video before you edit it. No, because that spoils... The, the moment you witness it in its glory for the first time. Exactly. I've always been quite good with people. That's my thing. Being able to create rapport, confidence, speaking to people, communicating. So I've, number one, I don't really have a problem doing that. But I don't think you can ever go wrong if you walk up to somebody and show them love and appreciation. I don't think you can ever go wrong. So that's how I connect with people. I always go in with a compliment or with some sort of appreciation. Hello, what's your name, sir? Andy. Ruben, very nice Ruben. to meet you. Andy, your hands are really warm. Can I hold them? <laughs> I think at least 80%, I don't know what research says, but at least 80% of our life is taken up by our job, by work. So if 80% of your life is taken up by work, you have to make that 80% enjoyable. Or well, that's 80% of your life spent doing shit, unhappy things. Right, we call with the rules? Yeah? I don't even know why I'm holding this, man. Right, London Lights, who's up for the dump competition? To me, it's just, I, I, I just think it's really odd that people settle for stuff like that. Oh, you know what, but this is work though, this is life. No, this ain't fucking life, man. This ain't life. There is no certainty that you're gonna be alive tomorrow. There is no certainty that you're gonna be alive tomorrow. And I take this literally. So I really don't spend any time doing things I don't wanna do. So I, I build up life I want to because I don't know when I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna do that in five, 10 years. Turn on the news now. People are dropping dead, man. You don't know what you're gonna do next week. Stop talking about it and just focus on what you wanna do and spend every day doing that. And that's, that's kind of the rules I live by and I've been living by it for ages. I am Ruben Christian, a human being and comic based and brought up in East London. I want to entertain and inspire people to do what they want to do with their life.